Hey y'all, it's me, Chef Jen. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm gonna show you how to get into this beautiful ruby red fruit we call pomegranate. Pomegranates are in season in the fall and winter time. They are fantastic around Thanksgiving and Christmas. They have gorgeous little ruby red garnet colored seeds on the inside and that's what we use. They are wonderful on salads. They're great in drinks and beautiful as garnish. To get into them can be a little messy. This is not the time for a white shirt, so please put on an apron, put on something you don't mind getting a little bit of juice on. Pomegranate juice definitely is going to stain anything it might get splattered on if you're not careful. So you might have seen people opening pomegranates on TV, in videos. You might see them smashing them with a wooden spoon, putting them um, into water and breaking them out that way. They can be a little challenging. I don't like to use a wooden spoon on them. It can sort of bruise the seeds on the inside and I want my seeds to stay really nice and plump and have that pop when I bite into them. You can also buy pomegranate seeds already out of the, out of the outside shell of a pomegranate in your produce section in the refrigerated case. You can do that. I prefer not to. I like to buy mine whole. I find if I buy the, the little pearls already seeded for me, if you will, um, they maybe they're not as, as fresh. They aren't as bright red. They don't have as long of a shelf life when you bring them home and they can be a little bit on the mushy side. And I, again, I really like that pop. So the way I like to get into a pomegranate is I like to find the membranes. So just like a citrus fruit, pomegranates have these little pockets with membranes attached to them. And so I'm gonna take off the top. This is the top of my pomegranate where the stem would have been hanging from the tree. This is the bottom. You can see it sort of looks like the bottom of an apple where the blossom would have been. And so I'm gonna take off the top, try not to cut into any of the beautiful seeds on the inside and the bottom so I can find my membrane. So what I wanna do is kind of get just on the inside of the skin and kind of score it. I want to get through the skin and the membrane, and I'm going to try not to cut into any of those beautiful, glorious seeds on the inside. If you do, no worries. You're gonna, it's gonna happen. Don't worry about it. So once I get all the way around, I'm just gonna kind of start lifting, lifting, and get this all the way around. See, some of my seeds are already coming out, and then I might just get in here with my hands and pull that rest off. So you can see my segments already and these beautiful ruby red seeds on the inside. I'm gonna do the same thing on the bottom. Be careful, you might uh, catch some seeds in your hand. So just score it, same as the top. I wanna go through, but try not to get into those seeds as much as possible. All the way around. And then I'm just gonna lift, lift, lift. I think I'm gonna take a little bit more of that off. That membrane on the bottom is a little thicker. So the reason I'm doing the bottom as well is because the next thing I want to do is I'm finding these, the membranes on the inside that are holding my seeds into their little, little pockets. And I want to score the outside along that membrane so that I can get my segments. So just like you might segment an orange or a grapefruit or a lime, I'm gonna segment my pomegranate. And it's gonna help me get these seeds out a little bit faster. There's still a little work involved with it. So I'm just gonna take my knife again. I'm gonna find my membrane and I'm gonna score down. All the way. And I'm gonna go to the next one, same thing. Score all the way down. It's okay if it's not totally perfect. And then I'm just gonna keep going on all where all the membranes are. Sometimes you have to look a little close to find them. Just keep going. Okay, this is, there might be one small one in the middle of this big one that I can't see, and that's okay, we'll find it. So then what I wanna do is break these apart, and you can see if I did my job right, there we go. I've got my segments and my membrane, all like that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna gently get my little pieces, all my little segments off, 
My seeds are going to come out really nicely. I'm not going to bruise any of my fruit, any of my seeds. Alright, so I have released all of my beautiful pomegranate arils from their home inside the skin and I'm ready to use them. So I'm going to sprinkle these on a delicious winter squash salad. I've got the recipe up on my blog, so check it out. I'll see you next time. Thanks!